All right then, Ninja, so we've seen how to add new pizzas. We've also seen how to list pizzas out and how to get a single pizza and show that on a details page right here. So the next logical step to me would be deleting a pizza. So I like some kind of delete button on here. And when we click on that, it deletes the pizza. Then it redirects us to the home page, the index. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, typically when we go to delete something from a database, from a table, what we do is a form for that delete. Now that might seem weird because we don't need to enter in any information or anything like that, but it's only going to contain one hidden input and that hidden input is going to contain the ID of the pizza that we want to delete. So that will be the value of that input. Then we're going to have a submit button, which will say delete or something like that. And when we submit that, it's going to make a post request, take that value, the ID from the input field, the hidden one. And then when we come up here and run the PHP, we're going to detect if that submit button was pressed by using is set, but using post instead of get. And then if it is, we're going to take that ID, make a request to the database using SQL like this to say we want to delete something with the ID. OK, so that's kind of the process. So first of all, on the add page, that's where we're working. We need to go down to the template or rather not add. It's on details. We need to go down to the template and we need to add a little form with a hidden field. So let's do that if there's a pizza, because obviously if there's no pizza, we don't need to delete it. We just want to delete it if there is a pizza. So comment first of all, and we'll say delete form. All right then, so first of all, let's do the form tag. And inside we'll do an input field. The type is gonna be hidden. So we're not gonna see this on the screen. Now the name is gonna be ID to delete. Right, this is the ID of the pizza that we want to delete. And the value is going to be equal to that ID. Now, remember, when we load up this details page, we actually get on the get request up here in the URL, the ID. So we have access to the ID of the pizza now. Right. And with that, we get the pizza with the ID. So in the template, we have access to the pizza and subsequently the ID on the pizza as well. So we can output it as the value of this input field right here. So Let's do that inside some PHP tags, like so. And we're going to echo the pizza ID. So pizza and then the ID, like so. OK, so now we're outputting that as the value. We need a submit button inside this form. So let's do another input type of submit. And this is going to have a name of delete this time. The value will be the thing that is actually shown on the button so that will be delete and then we're going to give this a couple of classes just to make it look a bit better btm which is a materialized class makes it look like a button brand to give it that gold color that we created and also a z hyphen depth of zero just to take away the drop shadow and make it nice and flat on the page cool so we have that done now if we refresh over here then we should see that delete button. Now, obviously, if we click it, nothing's going to happen at the minute because this form does not have any action or a method. So the action, remember, is the file that we want to run when this is clicked or submitted. And that is this file, the details, because all of our logic is going to go up at the top over here. So let's send that to this file, which is details.php. And then we also need a method to send this data, and that is going to be post. So post like so. OK, so that is the form done. Now, when we submit it, we need to detect that post request over here. So let's do that next. So we use the same method over here is set as we would for the post. So we'll say if is set. And then this time we want to look for the post array and the value inside that post array is delete. Because remember, and this is small case or lowercase rather, when we gave this a name, this is the name of that input field, delete. So we want to make sure that that is set. And that was the button, by the way, because when you click on that button, it initializes a value for it. So this will be set. And all of this needs to be lowercase. This is terrible, is set. And if over here as well. And then we can open up that code block. All right, so inside here, 
what do we want to do? Well, there's a few things we need to do. First of all, we need to get the actual ID from this input field because that's the value of this. And we need to use that function to wrap it, MySQL real escape string, just in case there's any kind of malicious SQL sensitive code in there. We want to kind of escape that. So we'll do that first of all. Then we need to make our SQL string to delete the actual record. Then we need to make that query and check it's worked. So first step then in here is to say ID underscore to delete. That's the variable I'm storing this in is going to be equal to my SQL I real escape string. Then we pass in the connection and then the second value we pass in is underscore post and we want the ID underscore to delete because remember this right here is the name of this. So we're getting the value, which is the actual ID of this input field. That's what we're doing right here. And we're passing it into my SQL I real escape string, just in case the user tampers with the value of this. So now we've done that and we're storing that in this variable, we need to make our SQL now. So let's do another variable called SQL and set that equal to a string. This time we want to delete something. So the keyword is delete and we're going to delete from pizzas where remember we've seen this where clause ID is equal to ID to delete. Does that make sense? We're deleting from the pizzas table and we're using this where clause to say only delete the record whose ID is equal to this ID right here. Okay. And that makes sense because when we load this, we're using this ID to get the pizza, which has the ID on it. We're outputting that ID in this input field. So we're using that same ID when we click delete to delete that same pizza essentially right here. Okay, sweet. So the next thing to do is actually make this query and also check it's successfully done. So again, we're going to nest this in an if statement. So if my SQL I underscore query and pass in the connection and then pass in the SQL that we want to query with. And if that's a success, then this right here will fire. So success. And then if not, this is the failure. So if it's a failure, then we need to output some kind of error. We'll say echo and then query error and we'll concatenate that with the actual my SQL I underscore error like that. And then we're passing the connection. Cool. Now, if it is a success, what we're going to do is change the location of the user, redirect them. Remember to do that. We use the header function and then we pass inside the location, which is going to be index.php. All right, sweet. So this should work, but cross all your fingers, all your legs, etc., and refresh over here. Now, if we delete this, this is the Mario Supreme. Hopefully this will work. Delete. Okay. Now we get no such pizza exists and we get this error right here. So let's have a look what's going on. And oops, so that should be uppercase for a start. So let's save that now and see if this works again. I'm going to go back and refresh. Then I'll click delete and now it works. Cool. So schoolboy error. I just did lower caps instead of capitals for this over here. Okay. So there we go, my friends. That's how we do it. We do our form down here with a hidden field. It has the value of the ID that we want to delete. We do a submit button. We get that value up here from the post array and we use this function, MySQLI real escape string to take out any harmful code that might harm our database. And then we create our SQL to delete that and then we perform that. So my friends, we've now added data retrieve data. We've got a single record and now we've deleted data. So in the next video, I just want to add a couple of finishing touches to this project.